broadcasting on stations nationwide for over eight years, you're listening to The Gold Show. With us today is Jonathan Rose, registered financial consultant and CEO of Capital Gold Group. Jonathan is a recognized keynote speaker and commentator for worldwide gold markets, including the United States, Hong Kong, Singapore, China, India, and Europe. Capital Gold Group representatives are not financial advisors, and past performance in gold is not indicative of future performance. And as always, good to talk with you, Jonathan Rose. And it's a pleasure to be here. A warm, warm welcome to all the listeners tuning in on today's edition of The Gold Show, where we're going to show you how easy it is to get started by purchasing precious metals, particularly gold and silver coins and bars that you hold on to, and how to protect that really, you know, retirement account dollars that that we see shrinking month by month, year by year with physical, tangible gold. And if you want to know why top economists are predicting $5,000 an ounce for gold in the next couple of years, well, stay tuned for today's edition of The Gold Show. Well, before we get started, though, is it possible to get a copy of the freshly updated gold guide and precious metals guide to our listeners? Uh, the normally $80 value guide, absolutely free today. Absolutely. And what I want to stress here is this is a great education, a great way to enrich your knowledge on precious metals. And if you'd like our gold guide, which is normally an $80 value, today it's free on today's broadcast, but you must act now. Pick up the phone and give us a call toll free at 800-510-9594. Again, folks, that's 800-510-9594. In fact, this gold guide to owning precious metals will will really show you how to purchase gold and silver at the lowest possible prices and in fact which coins and bars will give you a better return in the future and if you have an IRA just like it was featured in the Wall Street Journal, we will show you how you can roll that over into an IRA backed by solid gold. And in fact, folks, it's still an IRA. You still get your statements, but you have physical gold in your retirement dollars. And now than ever is more important to understand the benefits of owning precious metals. And you can also visit our award-winning website at startwithgold.com. Well, Jonathan, you predicted it and it happened. Uh, you said as they got into all the debate and talks about uh, raising the debt ceiling that gold would spike and we have seen some incredible things recount what has happened and where we are well, as I've been mentioning over 11 weeks ago, I said, watch out for the warning signs. Watch out for this debt limit that has to be raised. When the government maxed out our credit cards, we knew coming down to this timeline that, in fact, if we didn't raise the debt limit, that the U.S. would default on its loans, the bond market could be sent into you know, uh, seasonal extremes, and it could be a catastrophic result on the U.S. economy, which is already faltering. So the fact that we probably, well, I mean, right now you turn on the news are we going to meet the deadline are we going to print more money are we going to default one thing's for certain it's creating a lot of instability in the marketplace where in fact a lot of world leaders and top economists are coming forward and saying that you know really what's happening here is is unprecedented it's unspeakable but a lot of people are realizing that the flight to safety and security is in precious metals and top economists are predicting five thousand dollars an ounce for the price of gold I do agree with them. Uh, in fact, I see gold prices continuing to spike throughout this year. And a quick, you know, reminder here, these months, you know, the summer months, particularly July, is a soft month for precious metals. Well, that isn't the trend for this year. In fact, we have seen new historical highs for gold. And, and literally, this is the best time to really diversify your portfolio, learn what precious metals can do for you. And if we were to just adjust for for the inflationary highs of the 1980s when gold was at $850 an ounce back then, well, today, gold should actually be trading at $2,400 an ounce. So gold is extremely underpriced. Market uncertainty is going to continue to shoot the yellow metal upwards. And I think is a strong buying opportunity and, and really uh, a wealth of information is out there. That's why we've put together the gold guide so you can enrich your knowledge on the benefits and advantages of a balanced portfolio that does include precious metals such as gold and silver. And, and there is still time to get in. You're saying the opportunity is there right now for those who've been looking at the signs. This is a good time to get it. 
you really have to look at the signs. I mean, whether it's the University of Texas Endowment Fund taking possession of a billion dollars worth of gold, Northwestern Mutual, the third largest life insurance company, purchased $400 million worth of gold. Even Warren Buffett, who, who was never a gold bug, has kind of done a 180. He purchased two of the largest gold manufacturing companies out there. And if you ask yourself why these large institutions are putting serious money into the gold market, it's because they see long-term value and growth and obviously a more stability in the tangible market, whether it's the US and, and the market itself with the dollar is coming under very tough scrutiny. Are we going to default? Are we going to print more money? Either way, it's going to be a, a strong impact or positive impact on the gold market. And I think a lot of people are really beginning to read these signs, understand what the implications mean, and understand how you can take advantage of this and, and really enjoy some of the run-ups and profits to be made You know, in the commodities market. All right, we see the headlines. The dollar slumps. Gold goes up. Uh, people wonder, okay, is this just a, a minor spike if they finally work this out? Or are you saying, you know, either way, if they work out a deal, there's some real problems ahead because we're printing more money, right? Either way, the, the debt that the country is in, 14.3 trillion, in fact, it's probably even higher than that, and climbing, this debt is unsustainable. In fact, this current administration has printed more money than from Washington to uh, uh, Reagan combined. So the amount of debt we have is unsustainable. It's not going to evaporate overnight. We don't have a, a magic stalk that's going to fly by Washington and all of a sudden drop all this money on top of everything, and then the debt's gone, unemployment fixed, the market's on the rise. We are in a deep recession here already. When the default, whether it happens or not, the economy is already faltering. People are already beginning to flee paper based on the uncertainty of what's going to unfold during the next week. And they are really beginning to take advantage of the fact that you can get into commodities, which obviously we don't have a crystal ball and nobody can say it's going to continue to rise. However, just read the writing on the wall. When there's, when there's instability, uh, when the dollar, you know, really begins to tank like it's doing right now, especially against the Swiss francs, and when inflation is becoming rampant from all the money that's being printed, you know, gold always shines. And that's why the smart money is shifting into gold. Jonathan, as you've described what's going on right now, this uh, posturing back and forth, uh, putting uh, the nation's finances uh, it, at stake here, even when they come to some sort of agreement, it's not over yet, is it? It's really not over because the short-term fix is just a band-aid which will have to be revisited again in 2013. But let's forget about this debt ceiling. We know our credit cards being maxed out. If we look a bit more forward-moving, you know, Erskine Bowles said it best, Clinton's former chief of staff, where he said Social Security and Medicare is going to be bankrupt in 10 years. It's a very similar scenario to the debt ceiling because the only way we're going to be able to fund Social Security and other entitlement programs is is by printing more money. Well, printing more money isn't the answer to everything because, you know, we could create hyperinflation, which we don't want that. That's extremely bad. Now, obviously, countries like Greece and the rest of the Eurozone, where countries are defaulting over there, is really sending the markets into seasonal extremes. And the backlash that we're seeing here in the US has already started. So people are on tender hooks. Obviously, we have a problem right now that's facing us that we've got to fix either one way or the other. But fixing the debt ceiling isn't going to change the, the financial landscape immediately. There's lots of problems that are coming up tomorrow that are already problems of today. And again, this is why large institutions or, or just regular people like you and I are looking to really back up their finances and have something tangible in our hand that's going to be worth something whilst the dollar keeps continuing to fall year after year. Now, the phone has been ringing, hasn't it, at the Capital Gold Group, and it's been ringing because a lot of people are hearing your message. How can our listeners get started? Call in at 800-510-9594. Find out why people are, are really talking about gold, 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 $5,000 an ounce. Get the gold guide. It's free while supplies last, normally an $80 value. Again, that's 800-510-9594. 800-510-9594. And you can also visit our award-winning website at startwithgold.com.